I will basically take you through where we are with this system and you know, give you an idea of what we should be expecting with respect to hurricane burial that is over the waters of the tropical Atlantic, moving closer and closer to the Eastern Caribbean and therefore into the Caribbean Sea. Here we see the latest satellite imagery that is showing the, the center of the system very clearly in the middle of that dense overcast of clouds, and it is moving toward the west. Barbados is that island, the closest island to that center. And, but the, the system is moving westward, and so is expected to move somewhat to the south of Barbados, um, between Barbados and Tobago, then entering the Caribbean Sea, and that is likely to start early on Monday morning. Now, what we are seeing here is an extremely dangerous hurricane. It is already at Category 4, and it is approaching the Windward Islands. There are life-threatening winds, there, are storm, there is storm surge that is expected, and at 5 o'clock, the center was located over about 500 kilometers from Barbados. It is moving westward with a central pressure of 960, which shows that it is a very intense system. The lower the pressure means the stronger the system is. Now, this is what the latest track projection looks like. The numbers that you're seeing on the left side of the screen really are really pinpointing where those black dots on the map are located. And it indicates that the system right now is centered over the Atlantic Ocean, as we can see all the way to the right-hand side of your picture. That yellow circle shows the overcast of that um, hurricane that is moving westward. It is already at Category 4, which means it is a major hurricane moving toward the west-northwest, really, which is just a little bit north of due west. It is expected to enter the Caribbean by Monday morning. And then during the afternoon, it will continue through into the Caribbean, staying, going into the Central Caribbean during the day on Tuesday. Now, it is expected to remain south of Puerto Rico and Hispaniola during Tuesday. And then as we move to Wednesday, that's when the approach is likely to be much closer to Jamaica. If you look on the left side, those two lines that are highlighted in red show where the positions are. The one... Um, at 2 a.m. on the right side shows the 60-hour projection uh, where the winds are expected to be at about 115 miles per hour. Now, that would characterize it as a Category 3 hurricane. As we move to the 72 hours, which takes the center now to the 2 p.m. Um, or after 2 p.m. on Wednesday, it would then reduce the wind speed to 110 miles per hour, which would be at Category 2. Now, what this means is that as the system is moving westward, what is being projected now is that there will be a bit of weakening of the system. And that is because the conditions in the Western Caribbean are not as conducive to the development as it has been over the Atlantic and will be in the Eastern Caribbean. So they are expecting that there will be some weakening. How much weakening is not very sure because at the end of this forecast period, the, the, um, the, the accuracy is likely to shift from time to time because it is not as sure the longer, the farther you are from the time that the prediction is made. So it is possible because of how that cone is shown on the right side, the center of that system, although it is pinpointed in the middle of the cone, it could be on the right side end or on the left side end of that cone. So it, the center could be farther from the south coast of Jamaica or it could be over the waters to the north of Jamaica as well by the time it passes us. So right now, there is some play of uncertainty as to exactly where that center will be. However, the black dot showing the H at 2 p.m. on Wednesday is showing where the most likely pos position would be based on the forecast at this point in time. This could change as we move forward. If the center of the system is further from the south coast, moving it more over the Caribbean Sea and away from the land area. So that is something that we are hoping we'll see develop over the next day or two. At this point in time, we have not declared that this is a threat to Jamaica. It could very well pose to be a threat. Right now, as the minister said, this is a risk that we have to manage. Tomorrow morning, first thing in the morning, we'll be able to assess this and determine whether now we consider it a threat now that it is about entering the Caribbean region and whether the, there is a, a sustainability in the forecast models that are projecting this, the, the system and whether it maintains the position as it is showing at this time. So the three main messages that we want to leave with is that right now this is an extremely dangerous Category 4 hurricane that is moving into the Western Islands. Well, the Windward Islands, sorry, 
very dangerous situation, especially for the islands of the Eastern Caribbean, the Leewards in particular. And then it is a potentially catastrophic hurricane with strong, very strong winds. Life-threatening storm surge is possible, damaging waves likely, very heavy rainfall as well. And number three point shows that the heavy rainfall and localized rainfall will extend through the Windward Islands. And the fourth point shows that Jamaica is also at risk of that heavy rainfall as the system moves closer and closer to us. Not just the heavy rainfall, but the strong winds associated with a hurricane and all the other complexities with storm surge and landslides and all these other um, things that normally come, the hazards that come along with hurricane activity. So that is basically where we are right now in terms of what we are expecting with the system moving closer. We're still hoping that the, for the projections moving forward will show further weakening, likely in the Central Caribbean, but it will also show a drift away from the southern coastline. That is the best case scenario. But the worst case, which is what we should prepare ourselves for, is having a major hurricane moving right across the island of Jamaica on Wednesday. Ultimately, Category 1 is some damage, Category 2 is extensive damage, a Category 3 is devastating damage, and a Category 4 is catastrophic damage. Country needs to be very clear that we are at risk of some damage. The storm is not yet landed in the Windward Islands, but the trucks and the varying models, I believe 12 models, have shown it interacting with Jamaica at some level and some degree. It's not a time for panic. It's a time for preparation. This preparation will not be wasted. Whatever you invest in this preparation will benefit you should the storm impact us negatively. Tomorrow morning, the government will convene its Disaster Risk Coordination Committee at the Ministry of Local Government. And Minister McKenzie will give updates from that meeting. Post that meeting, that grouping will also brief the cabinet at 11 a.m. I expect the Prime Minister to speak once he has received that briefing and the situation is indeed clear. As Evan says, we are hoping for the best, but we are asking you to prepare for the worst.